High performance living, what does it feel like? It's the ongoing feeling of full engagement, joy, and confidence that comes from that C word again, consistently living from your best self. So as you think about the last time from our last session to today, are you leveling up in these areas, staying the same, or did you fall apart in any of these areas? And if you fell apart in these areas, why? And if you were to replay that time, the last few, four weeks since we've had our last session, what would you have done differently to set, sort of set the stage so you didn't fall apart? Does that make sense? Anything there for you? If you were to replay the time between this session and last, and you fell apart in some area, how would you have set yourself up differently to not fall apart? Let's just say, as an illustration, that sleep, oh, I just, I stayed up too late too many nights in a row, and then I let loose on my spouse and my kids, on my family and my friends. I knew better. I should have slept. I should have prioritized sleep. I can handle one night, one night where I stay up late, but I was three nights late, so I would have reprioritized sleep. That deepens your commitment to better sleep, knowing the outset of what can happen from that. Does that all make sense? I hope that helps because that's been a huge thing for me and so many others. It's like, oh, I'm going to reflect on that and I'm going to think about what it was as a quality trait characteristic that I need to pivot or a behavioral rhythm or a habit I need to double down on. I'm going to own it. Cool? So much gold here. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're sensing. This is everything about feeling the vibrance, the joy, the spark, the activating the 10 human drives that make you feel alive, feeling that vibrancy, that zest, that fervor for life. Everything lies within this. And I hope you sense how this is all coming out. 